Terrorists storm a London shopping centre and start shooting indiscriminately. This is just an exercise, but there are chilling parallels with the recent attacks in Paris. Armed police soon arrive. Without hesitation, they head inside. This is what they see as they work their way through the building. Confronting gunmen head on is a tactic the police have only revealed today, a way of dealing with attackers who want to kill, not negotiate. One of the tactics we now use is to go forward towards the threat to save lives, and we will go towards the threat, whereas in the past we'd have stood back. The marauding gunmen in Mumbai seven years ago prompted UK police to look again at their firearms tactics. Tactics which have been refined further after the killings in France last month. So with all that information, we have reviewed our position, which is what you do, frankly, in any war, isn't it? You can't fight the last war, you've got to fight the war you're dealing with. Since the Paris attacks, some have questioned whether the Metropolitan Police has the number of firearms officers and the weapons needed to deal with a similar attack here. Well, today the force insisted it does have the equipment and the officers and could even boost its firearms capability if required. The simulated terror attack is still underway. The gunmen keep on firing and throw more grenades. These officers have now been warned they may have to walk over casualties so they can take out shooters as soon as possible. The Mets say there's no intelligence about a specific attack on London, but the police hope this dramatic demonstration will actually reassure the public that they'll do all they can to save as many lives as possible if gunmen strike here. Nick Beek, BBC London News.